The PHD-6 is a portable gas detector designed to detect hazardous atmospheric conditions. This video begins with an overview of the PHD-6's capabilities and then proceeds to instructions for everyday use, including calibration and basic maintenance, and ends with a quick overview of the built-in menu options. The PHD-6 can be configured to monitor up to six atmospheric hazards simultaneously, oxygen, combustible gases and vapors, volatile organic compounds, also known as VOCs, and a wide range of toxic contaminants. All procedures necessary for day-to-day -day operation, including the initiation of the automatic calibration adjustment, are controlled entirely through the mode button on the front of the instrument. Gas readings and other data are updated in real time and are shown in the PHD-6's front-mounted LCD display. A built-in backlight allows the PHD-6 to be used in low-light conditions. Three bright red LED alarm lights and a loud audible alarm provide alarm state information. Each PHD-6 is shipped with either an alkaline or a rechargeable lithium-ion battery pack. Battery packs are interchangeable. The alkaline battery pack contains three replaceable AA alkaline batteries. Rechargeable versions are shipped with a standard PHD-6 charging dock. All PHD-6 gas detectors feature a calibration reminder that can be set to specific intervals between 0 and 180 days. With the calibration reminder enabled, the PHD-6 will display the number of days until the next scheduled calibration date, whenever it is turned on. Sparing instrumentation adheres to the ISEA calibration guidelines by recommending that sensor accuracy be verified with known concentration test gas before each day's use. Each PHD-6 is shipped with a belt clip, quick reference card, reference manual, training CD, manual sample draw kit, calibration adapter, and a short section of tubing for use in calibration. Every PHD-6 is shipped with a manual sample draw kit that includes a sample probe with filters, 10 feet of tubing, squeeze bulb, sample draw adapter, and a set of sample probe replacement filters. For long-term remote sampling applications, a motorized continuous sample pump is available for the PHD-6. Pump accessories include a sample draw probe with 10 feet of tubing and a replacement filter kit. The PHD-6 is designed to monitor for hazardous atmospheric conditions. An alarm condition indicates the presence of a potentially life-threatening hazard and should be taken very seriously. The safest course of action is to immediately leave the affected area and to return only after further testing determines that the area is once again safe for entry. The PHD-6 is designed to be easy to use. The mode button is located on the front face of the instrument and controls all procedures for day-to-day -day use, including the initiation of the automatic calibration sequence. The two navigation keys are used in the main menu and basic menu to configure the instrument but aren't necessary for day-to-day -day use. To turn the PHD-6 on, just press and release the mode button. The PHD-6 will automatically proceed through a series of screens showing the instrument configuration, serial number, data logger configuration, and calibration status to the user. The first screen at startup includes the instrument name and firmware version. All Sperian Protection instruments are shipped with the latest firmware version available at the time of production. Firmware updates are always available on Sperian Instrumentation Software Download website at www.biodownloads.com. The second screen shows loading sensors along with the current sensor configuration and the sensor location in the sensor compartment. The next screen shows the instrument serial number along with the status of the data logger. The PHD-6 will show data logger black box if it doesn't include the data logger upgrade. Instruments with the full data logger upgrade will display data logger along with the data logger interval in hours, minutes, or seconds and the data logger's capacity. The data logger capacity represents the amount of time that the data logger will store data before the oldest data is overwritten by new data. At the default data sampling interval of one minute, the PHD-6 will store a minimum of 63 hours of data before it begins to write new data over the oldest data. If your PHD-6 includes a data logger upgrade, the sampling interval can be modified with Sperian's BioTrack program 
using a PC with an IRDA port or directly with the mode button through the data logging menu. The PHD6 will then check for installed sensors and perform a system memory check. The current alarm settings for each recognized sensor will then be shown. Warning alarms indicate a hazardous atmospheric condition that has not yet risen to the level necessary to initiate the danger alarms. The warning alarm is indicated by a repeating single tone audible alarm coupled with flashing visible alarms. Danger alarms indicate a significantly hazardous condition. The danger alarm condition is multi-toned and louder than the warning alarm. STEL, short-term exposure limit, alarm values represent the average concentration of instrument readings for the target gas for the most recently completed 15 minutes of operation. TWA, time-weighted average, values are calculated by taking the sum of exposure to a particular toxic gas in the current operating session in terms of parts per million hours and dividing by an 8-hour period. The PHD-6 will then show starting session, resetting averages. The PHD-6 will show the calibration status of the instrument. If calibration is due, the user will need to push the mode button to acknowledge it before the instrument will proceed. If calibration is not due, the PHD-6 will show the number of days until the next scheduled calibration. The interval between scheduled calibrations can be set by the user with BioTrack software or directly with the mode button through the calibration menu. If the pump is attached to the PHD-6 when the instrument is turned on, the pump will be activated and the sample draw assembly will be tested for leakage. The PHD-6 will instruct you to block the sample draw probe. The sample draw tubing and probe assembly must be attached to the inlet port on the pump during use. Block the pump inlet by placing a finger over the end of the sample probe assembly. Once the PHD-6 recognizes that the sample has been blocked, it will instruct you to remove the blockage. Once the PHD-6 recognizes that the blockage has been removed, it will proceed to the current gas reading screen. If the PHD-6 is unable to detect a seal, you will be instructed to remove the pump and the PHD-6 will return to diffusion mode. The pump seal test must be passed for the PHD-6 to be used with the motorized pump. Once the startup sequence is complete, the current gas reading screen will be shown. Readings are updated in real time. For instruments equipped with a PID sensor, there is a mandatory 5-minute warm-up period during which the hourglass icon and PID will be shown in the status bar, and the VOC gas type will be shown in reverse text. Do not use the PHD-6 to monitor for volatile organic compounds until the PID warm-up period is over and the hourglass icon is no longer shown. The readings shown during the warm-up period should not be considered accurate. At the bottom of the display is a status bar that is designed to give the user general information about the instrument. At the far right is the time. Time can be changed manually through the PHD-6's menu options, or time can be set using a PC in Spirian's BioTrack program. A span calibration bottle coupled with a triangular warning symbol, blinks to show that the instrument is due for calibration. The pump icon, a spinning fan, will be shown in the instrument status bar at the bottom of the display when the pump is detected. The heartbeat symbol is flashed when the PHD-6's calibration status is up to date and the instrument is operating normally. The battery icon at the far left in the status bar gives an indication of the remaining battery strength. When the battery icon is empty, it is time to charge the battery or change the alkaline batteries in the alkaline battery pack. To turn on the backlight, press the mode button once. The backlight can also be programmed to be on always or to come on automatically in low light conditions. The backlight settings are contained in the screen menu. To view the peak reading screen, press the mode button once to turn on the backlight and then once more. The peak readings represent the highest readings registered by the instrument during the current operating session. Press the mode button a third time to view the STEL and TWA screen. The PHD-6 must be in continuous operation for at least 15 minutes before it will be able to calculate STEL or TWA values. For the first 15 minutes of any operating session, the screen will show the X in place of the STEL and TWA values. Note that if the mode button is pressed three times quickly, 
the PHD-6 will enter the calibration subroutine, so always pause briefly between mode presses. To turn the PHD-6 off, press and hold the mode button until the display reads Release Mode to shut down. The PHD-6 will also offer the option to press the mode button to enter the basic menu. The basic menu contains the display's contrast setting and an option to enter the main menu. The PHD-6 can be used in either diffusion or sample draw mode. In either mode, the gas sample must reach the sensors for the instrument to register a gas reading. The sensors are located in the lower half of the instrument. Each sensor has its own sensor port on the front of the detector. In diffusion mode, the atmosphere being measured reaches the sensors by diffusing through the sensor ports. Normal air movements are enough to carry the sample to the sensors. Diffusion style operation monitors only the atmosphere that immediately surrounds the detector. The sensor ports must be kept free of obstruction. Blocked sensor ports can lead to inaccurate and potentially dangerous readings. The PHD-6 can also be used to sample remote locations with the optional hand-aspirated sample draw kit. Secure the sample draw assembly to the PHD-6 by sliding the calibration adapter over the instrument and tightening the knurled screw on the front of the adapter. To test the seals in the sample draw system, cover the end of the sample draw probe with a finger and squeeze the aspirator bulb. If there are no leaks in the sample draw kit components, the bulb should stay deflated for a few seconds. Insert the end of the sample probe into the location to be sampled. Squeeze the aspirator bulb continuously to draw the sample into the sensor compartment. Allow one squeeze of the bulb for every one foot of sampling hose for the sample to reach the sensors. Continue to squeeze the bulb once per second for an additional 45 seconds or until readings stabilize. Note the gas measurement readings. Hand aspirated remote sampling only provides continuous gas readings for the area in which the probe is located when the bulb is being continuously squeezed. Each time a reading is desired, it is necessary to squeeze the bulb a sufficient number of times to bring a fresh sample to the sensor compartment and to allow the readings to stabilize. For long-term remote sampling applications, an optional built-in motorized continuous sample draw pump is available. To turn the pump on, slide it over the bottom of the instrument, lock the tabs in place over the back of the PHD-6, and secure it with the knurled screw. The PHD-6 will automatically recognize the pump and instruct you to block the pump in order to test for leaks. Block the pump inlet by placing a finger over the end of the sample probe assembly. Once the PHD-6 recognizes that the sample has been blocked, it will instruct you to remove the blockage. Always use the sample probe when performing any type of remote sampling. The probe handle contains filters designed to block moisture and particulate contaminants, which may cause damage to the internal components of the instrument. Replace the sample probe filters whenever they become discolored or when the low flow alarm indicates blockage. The PHD-6's batteries are housed in easily removed battery packs. The rechargeable lithium-ion battery packs and alkaline battery packs can be used interchangeably. The instrument automatically determines which type of battery pack is installed. Low battery alarms warn when battery voltage is too low for safe operation. The alkaline battery pack holds three AA-sized disposable alkaline batteries. To access the alkaline batteries, Turn the two screws on the front of the battery pack one quarter turn counterclockwise. Remove the old batteries and insert new batteries. Use only Duracell MN1500, Duracell Ultra MX1500, EverReady Energizer E91-LR6, or EverReady EN91 batteries in the alkaline battery pack. Substitution of batteries may impair intrinsic safety. Be sure to align the battery polarities as shown in the battery pack.
the lithium ion battery pack is sealed and cannot be opened in the field. The charger will completely recharge the lithium ion battery pack in about five hours. The LED on the charger will blink approximately once per second during the charging cycle. Once the battery is fully charged, the LED will stop blinking and will remain lit. The PHD-6 must be located in a non-hazardous location during the charging cycle. Charging the PHD-6 in a hazardous location may impair intrinsic safety. Gas monitoring instruments are designed to protect personnel from unseen hazards that may exist in the environment, especially in confined spaces. It is vital to worker safety that the PHD-6 is maintained and calibrated regularly. Sperian instrumentation adheres to the ISEA calibration guidelines by recommending that sensor accuracy be verified with known concentration test gas before each day's use. The only way to guarantee that an instrument will detect gas accurately is to test it with a known concentration of gas. Exposing the instrument to a known concentration of test gas will show whether the sensors respond accurately and whether the instrument alarms function properly. The simplest way to test sensor response is by performing a bump test. Turn the PHD-6 on and allow the readings to stabilize. Five minutes is usually sufficient unless a sensor has just been replaced. See the PHD-6 reference manual for further details on sensor stabilization periods. Check the readings for fresh air. The oxygen reading should be 20.9%. Toxic and LEL sensors should read 0 ppm. If the instrument shows other readings, it should be fresh air 0 calibrated before proceeding with the bump test. To perform a bump test, attach the calibration gas cylinder regulator, and calibration adapter with a short section of tubing to the PHD-6. Make sure that the cylinder threads and seating surfaces are clean and dry when attaching the regulator to the gas cylinder. All-in-one calibration mixtures are especially convenient when doing a bump test. Flow gas to the sensors and allow the readings to stabilize. 45 seconds to one minute is usually sufficient. The alarm should activate. If the LEL and toxic gas readings fall between 90% and 120% of the concentrations printed on the label of the calibration gas cylinder, then the readings are considered accurate, and it is safe to use the instrument without further adjustment. If the readings do not fall within the 90% to 120% window, then the detector is considered inaccurate and must be span calibrated before further use. Calibrating the PHD-6 is a two-step procedure. Step one is the fresh air zero calibration adjustment. Take the instrument into an area where the air is known to be fresh. Press the mode button three times within two seconds to initiate the fresh air zero calibration sequence. To return to the current gas reading screen and bypass the fresh air zero calibration, allow the clock to count down without pressing the mode button. To initiate the fresh air calibration, press the mode button before the unit completes the countdown. The instrument will automatically adjust the oxygen combustible gas, and toxic gas readings to match the concentrations expected in a fresh air environment. 20.9% oxygen, 0% LEL for combustible gas, and 0 parts per million for all toxic gases except CO2. Once the fresh air calibration has been successfully completed, the PHD-6 will automatically proceed to the automatic span calibration sequence and begin another 5 second countdown. Press the mode button before the end of the 5 second countdown to initiate the span calibration adjustment. Apply gas will be shown alternately with the expected concentrations of calibration gas for each sensor. Attach the calibration gas cylinder, regulator, and calibration adapter with a short section of tubing to the PHD-6. Make sure that the cylinder threads and seating surfaces are clean and dry when attaching the regulator to the gas cylinder. Once the instrument recognizes the calibration gas, the current gas readings will be shown with the sensor types. The calibration is fully automatic from this point on. Upon successful calibration of a sensor, the PHD-6 will beep, show the adjusted reading for the calibrated sensor, and then move on to the next sensor. The PHD-6 will briefly show the maximum adjustment value screen. The maximum adjustment values for the LEL and toxic sensors give an indication of the relative health of the sensors. 
as a sensor loses sensitivity, the maximum possible adjustment will decrease to approach the expected concentration of the calibration gas. When all sensors installed in the PHD-6 have been adjusted, the instrument will shut itself off. Disconnect the calibration assembly prior to turning the instrument back on. Sensor response in the PHD-6 can also be verified using the IQ-6 Express Docking Station. Just drop the PHD-6 into the dock and the dock will automatically perform a bump test and assess the critical functions of the instrument, all in about 30 seconds. If the bump test fails, the dock will perform a full instrument calibration without intervention from the user. Once processing is complete, the IQ-6 dock automatically records the results of the bump test or calibration. IQ Express docks cut the costs associated with instrument processing by using less gas and reducing the amount of labor required for instrument processing and record keeping. To enter the basic menu, Hold the mode button down for three seconds as if you are about to turn the instrument off. The instrument will start to beep and the screen will show Hold Mode to enter basic menu. When the instrument stops beeping, release the mode button and the basic menu will be shown. The basic menu contains options for operating language, screen contrast, and an option to enter the main menu. PID options are shown if the PHD-6 has the PID sensor installed. Upon leaving the basic menu, the instrument will return to the current gas reading screen. To enter the main menu, hold the mode button down for three seconds as if you are about to turn the instrument off. When the screen shows hold mode to enter basic menu, release mode. The screen will immediately show shutting down with two bars at the lower edge of the display. Press and release the up and down navigation bar simultaneously to enter the main menu. The main menu includes the full spread of instrument control options. Submenus of the main menu include Alarms, Calibration, Configuration, Screen, Information, and Data Logger if enabled. See the PHD6 reference manual for further details on menu options. This video training guide is designed to help our customers in basic, day-to-day -day use of the PHD-6 atmospheric monitor. It is not intended to replace the written owner's manual. Consult the owner's manual for details of the procedures covered in this training video. Thank you for choosing the PHD-6 and thank you for choosing Sperian Instrumentation.